In May of 2020, April and I made our first real video together. Two? <laughs> yeah, so we'll try that. Okay. We never expected okay. what would happen next. After a whirlwind start to the summer, we realized that something really cool is actually happening and we decided to pour every single ounce of energy we had into this channel with the hopes that April could maybe leave her job and we could do the YouTube thing full time together. Oh, we did it! Yay! <laughs> That's cool. Every week I would work 40 hours as a designer and Kyle would spend the entire week planning, editing, and talking with bike companies to see if they would help support us in our goal. But two big concerns kept coming up. How do we know you guys are serious? Like, How do we know that this is actually gonna be a thing and you're committed to it? And living in Idaho, how are you gonna make content year round? So to prove that we were serious and to address the question about winter, we pulled money from our house and we bought a building that will act as our headquarters and podcast studio so that we can be productive year round. This is our shop. <laughs> then they pretty much all said yes at the same time. In December, when we realized that this was actually gonna happen, we couldn't believe it. We both pretty much broke down. Okay. We had worked so hard on everything and taken such a big risk with the building and they all said yes. It's been a crazy year and um, I don't know, we just appreciate everything you guys have done for us. And In mid-January, <laughs> I quit my job as a designer and for the past few months, we've been working really hard to get things rolling. So the first project that we started was actually tearing apart the van build that we had and kind of redoing it and getting it set up to travel a little bit more efficiently and be able to make videos on the road this summer. So we needed to do some onboard power, um, a bigger bed, things like that. So that's been a huge project the last few months while we waited for the mezzanine to arrive. And then after a few months of working on the van and waiting for the mezzanine, it finally showed up. And with the help of our friends, Joel, Ben, and Dawn, we were able to actually get the mezzanine up in about two to three days. And that was such a good feeling. <laughs> We've been waiting for it for so long and to finally see it kind of go up it actually made it feel like we're making progress and things are happening. Then we started working on a few things like building the stairs, which we're kind of in the middle of, and then framing in some walls. And just this past week, our friend Joe came through and helped us start wiring the electrical for the podcast studio. With all that going on and trying to film videos consistently every week, we are finally able to get the van done within the last week or so. And it's such a huge relief for us to finally mm -hmm. cross that off the list. So we are gonna do a full van tour video in the next couple weeks once it's all packed and ready to hit the road. But in the meantime, here's a few cool shots of how it turned out. So as you can probably tell, the last year has been an emotional roller coaster. We've had a ton of highs, you know, throughout the summer when everything was just happening, it was like so unbelievable and we couldn't really wrap our heads around what was going on. And then pushing so hard to get it to where April could quit her job and go full time. And it finally happened and it's like, oh my God, we did it, but we are just drained. So it's been a lot of uh, ups and downs, but overall it's been really cool. And now that we finally have the van kind of done, that's been a huge project. And like crossing that off the list has been so nice and the shop is kind of getting to a better place and we're gonna try to finish it for this winter so we can do a lot of cool content throughout the winter. So with all that being said, we're actually gonna do something kind of fun and just celebrate what's been going on the past year and we're gonna take off on a big road trip for the summer. So we're gonna do a live stream and announce kind of the exact details in about two weeks. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But the goal is to go ride in a lot of cool new destinations, meet a lot of our viewers and just go ride and have fun and just celebrate everything that's happened in the past year. So really excited and we couldn't have done this without you, as well as our sponsors and our Patreons and Joel and the guys at the shop. Thank you so much for all the help. Couldn't have done this without you, and it allowed me to quit my job and continue this journey with Kyle and make great videos for you guys. Yeah. There's so many aspects that go into making a YouTube channel happen, and, and we're not always sure how to share it, um, but if you would be interested in like seeing more of the behind the scenes stuff, let us know because as we cross more of these big projects off the list, hopefully we'll have more capacity to kind of do that stuff in the future. The past year we've basically just been <laughs> like pinned the whole time. So yeah, I don't know. It's been really fun though. We're really grateful. And at the end of the day, we're just two people that love each other. And we're trying to figure out how to spread a positive message and just help people. And I don't know, just get people on bikes. So that's kind of the goal. <laughs>
we'll keep you posted on the road trip plans. Like I said, we're gonna do a live stream in about two weeks with all the details and we have some fun stuff planned for that. So thank you guys, you rock, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.